this video, I am going to build a model airport terminal and explain how you can design and build one yourself too. This is my model airport and as you can see, it misses something. There are jet bridges but they are not connected to a terminal. So I am going to build one myself. The plan is to build a terminal in this space. I knew where I was going to build the terminal, so I could measure out what the dimensions of the terminal were going to be, which is 80 cm in length and 10 in width. Then I checked how many gates were supposed to be in the terminal, which in my case are 7 gates. Between each gate, I will make a port for GSC equipment to be parked. And on the left side of the terminal, I need a bus station. For my terminal, I have a few requirements. It has to be a modern design. I want to add a cool light effect in the windows and there needs to be a height difference in the roof. So this is the plan for the terminal. Now we can move on to the next phase, which is designing it. So with these criteria, I started to scratch and after drawing some lines, I was happy with my sketch on paper. So I started designing one in Autodesk Fusion 360. Autodesk Fusion 360 is a free to use program for your PC in which you can design everything you can think of. It takes some time to learn the program, how to use it, but after you've got the hang of it, you can design almost anything. There are plenty of videos out on YouTube on how you can do start to use Fusion 360. And there's a time lapse of how I design a part of the terminal myself. After you have the design dimensions and wishes, it's time to build. I'm going to use my 3D printer for this. And if you don't have a 3D printer in your procession, you can pay someone to do the 3D printing for you, or you can make your own out of wood or paper. I'm going to 3D print eight parts, which are each 10 centimeters in length. For the 3D printing phase, I will be using the Ender 3 V2 3D printer. It is a beginner, rather cheap printer of about 250 euros, which gives great results. If you're interested in buying a printer yourself, this is for sure one I can recommend to you. It's very easy to set up and use and it produces high quality, accurate prints. And to print the terminal, I'm going to use light gray filament. The material of the filament is PLA uh, 1.75 millimeters. I print at a nozzle temp of 205 degrees celsius with a bed temperature of 7 degrees celsius as you can see there is some whitish stuff on the printer bed uh, this is glue which makes the print stick better to the bed i had some problems for the print to stick with the glass bed which the printer comes with originally and when i added some glue to the bed the print stick absolutely amazing each print takes 10 to 15 hours to print depending on the size and as I do 8 parts in total, that is almost 100 hours of printing time. So about 10 hours later, one section of the 8 in total is finally finished. And as you can see, it looks amazing. So 7 more to go. Every time when I print a new part, I check whether the jet bridge is placed in the correct position and whether the print is nicely connected to the surrounding parts. When the newly 3D printed terminal parts have been sanded and made looking good, the parts can be super glued together. It is important that you place the terminal parts correctly next to each other because when the super glue is added and the parts are being connected, any mistake can't be undone as super glue sticks absolutely crazy good. So this process I did for all the eight parts, after which the terminal really started to take shape. Well, there are still open windows, but for the rest, the terminal looks already quite finished. But I'm not done yet, because for the windows, I ordered a one meter long LED strip on Amazon, which I am going to use for the lighting effect. The LED strip can switch to a lot of colors uh, with the remote control, which will create a nice disco effect inside of the terminal. To make the lighting effect work in the terminal using the LED strip, I will be placing baking paper in front of the windows. I took a big sheet of baking paper and cut it to the correct size. Then I glued the paper to the inside of the terminal and I was done. When the terminal was also ready for the lighting effect, I only needed one more thing an air traffic control tower. I have an old Herpa Wings 12500 scale ATC tower which looks great, but you can also print one yourself. I printed a small fitting for it because on its own it wouldn't uh, keep standing on the terminal. 
So with the fitting, I can easily glue it onto the terminal and with everything in place, the terminal is done. So I want to thank you everyone for watching this video, I hope I have inspired you for your own model airport terminal. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments, I am more than happy to answer them for you. And that was all, thanks a lot guys and see you at the next video.